Hello everyone, welcome to my Java tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we saw method overloading. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you method overriding. So let's begin. Now again, I'll explain it with an example. I've created a class C1 over here, which has a method M1, which takes two integer variables as parameters. And inside I'm just printing M1 of C1 and also I'm printing the values of the variables. So let's create an object of this class. Okay, so we have created the object. Now I'll invoke this method. Okay, and I'll have to pass some values to it. Let's say 10 comma 20. Let's run this. And as you can see, we got the correct output. Okay, now I'm going to override this method. Okay, now for overriding, I can't override it in the same class. And for that, I'll have to create a child class of this class C1. Okay, so I'll just create a child class of it. C2 extends c1 okay so i've created a child class which means this class c2 extends or inherits from c1 now inside this class c2 i'll just copy paste this entire definition now what this means is i am overriding method m1 and why i've just copy pasted because in overriding it requires that both the methods should have the same name as well as the same parameter list. In case of method overloading, it was a bit different. Method overloading required the names to be same, but the parameter list to be different. But in this case, in case of overriding, the method name also has to be same. And even the method uh, parameter list has to be same. Okay. So now I have overridden this method. Now I'll show you uh, how it works. Okay. So let's create an object of class C2. Okay. Now again, one more thing, I'll just change the class over here to class C2 because this method is present in C2. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll create an object of C2 over here. OBJ2 is equal to new C2. Okay. So I've created an object of C2. Now I'll invoke the same method M1. Okay. And I'll pass uh, some other values, let's say 30 comma 40. Okay. Now, okay. Now you can, uh, see in this class C2, since it extends from C1, it will have both these methods, right? Because inheritance says what it, uh, it says that whichever class you inherit from, you will get all the contents of that class, right? So this class C2 will have everything from class C1, which is M1. And it also has a method called M1. Now, which method uh, will get executed, right? Since it is having both, which one will get executed? So let's run this program. And yes, this output is of the first thing. And this output, as you can see, it executed the method of class C2. So class C2, even though it has both the methods, it executes the method of class C2. And why is that? Because we have overridden this method, okay? So the method M1 of class C2 overrides the method M1 in class C1, right? So this is the meaning of method overriding. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial.